If you don't mind owning a Rolex that once belonged to a drug lord, head over to the KL Police Contingent Headquarters as early as 8 a.m. tomorrow. The Narcotics Crime Investigation Department, NCID's Property for Feature Division, is holding an auction of luxury items that have been confiscated from criminals under the Dangerous Drugs Act. Bila kita siasat harta harta tersebut dan harta tersebut telah diputuskan untuk dilucuhkan kepada kerajaan Malaysia, jadi bila telah diputuskan, jadi menjadi tanggungjawab pihak polis untuk melupuskannya. Cara pelupusannya adalah seperti lelongan yang kita dah lama kita simpan yang tiada nilai. Kita akan ada juga dalam dalam cara kita bagi hadiah kepada institusi-institusi kemahiran macam IKBN. Ada juga yang kita akan scrap lah. 141 items including watches, necklaces and lockets will be auctioned off. Among the 36 watches listed, they include some very high-end watches like Rolex and Piaget. But the most expensive one is this men's Rolex, with a reserve price of 61,160 ringgit. Previous auctions have been a great success as bidders don't seem to mind about the luxury item's notorious past. One, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> the luxury goods are priced at least 30% below their estimated value. Sebelum kita buat sesuatu lelongan, kita akan buat pelayan. Contohnya barang kemas, kita akan buat pelayan dari segi ketulinannya di kedai emas yang terpilih. Lah. Okay. Dari segi barang-barang lain seperti jam, seperti Rolex, kita akan hantar kepada Rolex Center untuk dianalisa, dikenal pasti kesahihannya dan dia akan uh, dia akan nilaikan lah berapa harga permulaan untuk nilai Rolex lah. Kita kurangkan 30% daripada harga semasa yang kita buat pelayan. Jadi itulah harga permulaan untuk kita buat bedaan lah. For the NCID, holding an auction is a win-win situation. It not only clears the space in their store, proceeds from the auction will be channeled to the Home Ministry. So if you are attending the auction tomorrow, remember to bring your my card and deposit money in the form of bank draft or postal order. This is Tina Law for Star TV.